Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper at radiopreppers.com. And behind me, we have a moped racing the Belgian countryside. If I turn around, now you see the French countryside. It's a bit windy. So I have a new toy in my uh, backpack. It's a PRC-351, a military man pack in, uh, well, it's the uh, top end of uh, HF, but uh, it's, it's mostly a VHF uh, FM radio. We're going to compare that to handhelds. This one is a uh, MD-390 by TYT. It's a UHF handheld which is analog and digital. The uh, PRC351 of course is only analog. And we'll see what the advantages uh, are for each radio. They do have the same mission. So uh, should we get one or the other? Should we get both? Uh, is the PRC uh, even uh, useful in a uh, prepping situation? Let's uh, see about that. I've been wanting one of those for quite some time. Um, of course, I have the uh, PRC320, which is the uh, HF man pack uh, going from 2 to 30 megahertz. This one goes from 30 to 76 megahertz. So both radios uh, give me a coverage of uh, 2 to 76 megahertz, which is uh, quite a bit. I don't have to present the radio to you, there are plenty of videos that do that. Here are the uh, frequency selection switches uh, on and off and uh, the antenna mount. I do not have the uh, tuning unit yet, it's in the mail. And I might get a uh, 20 watt amp, which is, is going to be uh, in between the battery here and the uh, 351. I'll turn it around. So, uh, thanks to Ray, whom I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, I do have a PRC351 now. I uh, did bring the uh, antenna, but uh, since I don't have the tuner, I also brought my Chameleon Hybrid Micro with the whip. Um, and I'm going to be using my Elocraft T1 tuner so I can I can get a good match and uh, we get a little bit uh, you know a little better performance here. I, I, I doubt I'll hear anyone, but I'll try to call someone on the uh, the uh, local uh, repeater and see if anyone has a six meter FM maybe uh, for a test. Maybe not the best uh, mounting option, but uh, it will do. We're not in the shack, so there is a BNC output, so which is great. I'm going to plug into that. Oh, here's the local repeater guys. I have to call them. All right, I'm going to have to use two hands for this. There we go, and the other hand is going to go on the Elecraft tuner. Now I hurt my wrist, so uh, that's why you see I have. Uh, Splint here. Okay, uh, we plug in the RG174 and we're good to go. Let's not forget the handset, which is the same handset I use for the 320. I can turn the uh, noise off by putting it on local. So now uh, the radio is uh, designed to uh, work with a tone squelch, so uh, which uh, turns off the audio when there is no signal that has the tone in it. So uh, of course, if you're talking with someone who doesn't have uh, the uh, 150 hertz tone, you need to 
turn that off. But for tuning, we don't need it. And we have a match. So uh, the 351 is used for local VHF communications. Uh, it's not meant to be a long-range uh, proposition, uh, just a few miles probably, uh, although uh, I've heard uh, that uh, you can get quite a bit of distance with a good antenna. Now we want to compare this with a modern handheld, because these two radios would use uh, would serve a, a, an identical purpose pretty much um, in a prepping uh, SHTF situation and uh, that is to uh, connect members of a group or uh, possibly contact other people um, within a few miles 10 15 miles maybe of your location uh, this would probably not do it <laughs> Not because it doesn't have the range of the capability, but because uh, there aren't many people listening to 6 meter FM uh, or 4 meter FM in some countries. Um, that could be an advantage, of course, if you want to be discreet. Uh, but you would be better served by something like this MD390, which is a UHF um, analog and DMR which means digital radio. It's not my favorite one for prepping. Uh, the best one, in my opinion, is probably the uh, TYT MD680, uh, because it doesn't have a screen and it doesn't have any buttons, so it's more rugged. Uh, those radios are uh, watertight, by the way. Uh, so is the uh, 351. Of course, you can see here, the big difference is the size. <laughs> I can put this in my pants pockets. Um, this I need to carry in a backpack. It's not too heavy, uh, well, compared to the uh, 320. Oh. Nope. Um, but still, it, it's not a light piece of equipment, especially because of the battery here. So, um, would I want one or the other? Uh, well, that's really very different. Uh, pieces of equipment. Um, I would definitely suggest you get a handheld VHF, UHF, something you can program with all the frequencies you want. Uh, again I like the uh, MD680 and I have nothing to do with TYT by the way but I like it because it has encryption and it's both analog and digital. Oh, bicycles. So, uh, on the other hand, the PRC351, I really like that radio, it's just an amazing radio. It's, the way it's built is absolutely incredible. It's, it's nearly indestructible, just like the 320. Um, I'm pretty certain you could uh, run over with your car and uh, <laughs> it wouldn't do anything. Um, but it's not, uh, it, it's not really... Um, easy to, to lug around, that's the problem. Even though it's quite small, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I, I had the same impression with my 320, by the way, which I thought would be bigger. But when you add the battery, eh, you know, it, it, it already uh, is twice the size. And then you uh, add the uh, tuning unit, uh, you add the amplifier, and you get something that is quite large. Uh, probably uh, about the same size as the uh, PRC320, the RT320, so... <clears throat> now, if I turn the radio around, we'll get to uh, some interesting things here, and I'm gonna tilt my camera a bit. Those connectors here are there to uh, connect a handset with a very long length of wire I think it's I don't know it's in kilometers I think it's crazy uh, so you can use this radio like a telephone actually you don't have to transmit at all you attach the handset and bingo you have a field telephone that uh, you know doesn't uh, output any uh, radio waves 
You can also uh, connect a handset and uh, operate the radio remotely. That's for the uh, paranoid people, uh, and, and I know some. <laughs> I can be sometimes a little bit. Uh, you don't want to be detected, or you don't want to be detected where you are. Uh, you connect a long wire and uh, put your radio a little bit further away. Maybe you're hiding somewhere, maybe you're underground. Uh, uh, I don't know, but uh, you could operate your radio from a remote location that way. So, of course, a handheld like this would require some uh, tinkering and uh, some custom cables and uh, amplifiers for the, the length of wire you're going to use, but it's, it, it would be pretty uh, complicated to do that. The PRC351 already has that built in, so uh, that's, um, you know, it, it is certainly an advantage. Uh, also, uh, when you add the uh, 20 watt amplifier, you have a little bit more power than a handheld like this that outputs maybe uh, 5 watts, you know, so. And uh, I like the uh, 6 meter band. Um, you get a little more range than uh, line of sight. It's not always good, like in wooded uh, areas, maybe it's not that great. Uh, you might want to go to 4 meters, 70 something megahertz. Um, or use maybe a VHF uh, 2 meter. Um, but I <laughs> I like the damn thing. I mean, I'm really happy I, I, I got it because uh, it's really awesome. Uh, now, of course, uh, I might want to buy two or three because, um, you know, in a, an emergency situation, uh, who am I going to be talking to on six meter? Nobody. You know, six meter does skip, by the way, so uh, you can make uh, very long uh, uh, distance contacts, but uh, it's pretty rare. It's mostly in the summer, uh, on sunny days, and, uh, uh, you know, you might benefit from some exotic propagation uh, modes, uh, but it's it's unreliable. You just don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, uh, tropospheric ducting and things like that. Uh, you can count on it. You know, it's not like a PRC320 when you can uh, uh, either put a, a vertical antenna or horizontal and cover all the ranches you want uh, using uh, skip, uh, you know, sky waves or uh, NVIS, uh, near vertical incident sky wave. And uh, you can watch my other videos to uh, where I explain those uh, those types of propagation. But uh, so basically, if I recap, um, handheld VHF, UHF, uh, two meter, seventy centimeter, which means uh, you're either on two meter, uh, which is about 144 some megahertz, or uh, 430 some megahertz for UHF. Those are uh, very high frequencies. UHF is ultra high frequency. Uh, it's for local communications. Um, the PRC351 is also for local communications. Although, if you go quite low on 30 megahertz, uh, it can skip. It can skip uh, up to a six meter, probably even a little bit higher on, on exceptional, uh, you know, uh, conditions. Uh, but it's it's going to be pretty rare. Uh, so don't count on it. It's it's only to be considered a local communication system. Um, its main advantage, indestructible, pretty much. Um, that's the that's the, the advantage. And uh, of course, it's it's a little bit more discreet than using a VHF or UHF without encryption, because a lot of people can listen to those frequencies. So uh, the price uh, they're about the same. Uh, this one was a bit more, but uh, the wind. Uh, okay, so <laughs> hope you can hear me. This one was a bit more because it's uh, the one with the screen and a lot of channels and stuff. But the MD680 is about eighty dollars. So is the uh, PRC351. Of course, if you uh, want to have it shipped somewhere outside of Europe, it's going to cost you. And you uh, probably have to fill uh, an importation uh, form. Uh, I know the FCC does require that for the US. All right, so I have I've been talking uh, way too much, as usual. Uh, but uh, we're going to try the thing now and uh, 
maybe I'll try to call the uh, someone local repeater and try to get someone in six meter FM. Otherwise, I'll call CQ, but I doubt I'll hear anyone. CQ, 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 CQ. Ici Fox 4 W B Y Fox Trot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee Over. And I, I pretty much know uh, I'm not going to be heard from here on 4 watts. Um, so uh, I didn't find anyone on the local repeater, but uh, I'll try uh, one more time. So the uh, PRC351 um, has a limited uh, usefulness for prepping. Um, and I know some people are not going to like that, but uh, it's an older design, it's from the uh, 80s. And uh, we have modern handhelds now that can uh, do the same thing. It does have some interesting capabilities though that you won't find in a handheld. And uh, of course, like I said, uh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, break it. <laughs> it would be very hard. So um, should you buy one for prepping? Mm, probably not. Uh, of course, if you're, you know, if you love radio like I do, uh, that might be a good idea. I don't know. You'd have to get a few, uh, probably. But uh, it's a definitely an interesting uh, piece of kit, uh, and I'm glad I, uh, I got one. Uh, I probably won't be the last one. Um, and that's it. So that's my uh, that's my opinion. Have a good one.